Hello, my friends. Welcome back to day six of my road trip around Lake Michigan. If you haven't seen days one to five, I suggest you go watch those first and then come here to continue the video. Before we begin, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of you that watched the previous videos and for all the love and support that you've shown in the comments. I'm really glad you enjoyed these types of videos. I know not everyone does, but for those of you that do, I'm so thankful for you and I'm having so much fun making these types of videos. After this one, there will be one more video, day seven, and in that one, I'll also open a lot of the fan mail that I got and a lot of the PR packages that I got from mini brands, from Miniverse, and even from Barbie. So if you enjoy these types of videos and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so that you don't miss the next one. Day 6 was a beautiful sunny day and I wished it was like this yesterday while we were in Canada, but it is what it is. You can't have it all. We packed our bags and hit the road, driving through the Upper Peninsula, and let me tell you, depending on what route you take, you might find yourself driving for miles without any signs of civilization. So make sure you have a full tank of gas and everything else you might need in case of an emergency. The scenery, however, is absolutely gorgeous. One thing I noticed around northern Michigan and Upper Peninsula is that there are a lot of Pizza Hut joints that still do dining. In the Chicago area, I only know of one which is a little far from me, but here, almost all the Pizza Hut places I looked up had dining available. And it just so happened that there was one on the way in Newbury, Michigan. Since there are so many Pizza Hut miniatures in the Foodie Mini Brand Series 2, I wanted to get something so we can compare them. I've never been in a dining Pizza Hut and it was nice to get a feel of how this pizza chain used to be back in the day. I'm guessing some of you that are watching this video don't have any of these dining locations anymore, so I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. I really enjoyed the decor, but I specifically liked the these Pizza Hut Tiffany style lamps that were above each booth. They have the personal pan pizza. I want to see if they have the big dinner box. They do have it. Big dinner box. It's 11.36 a.m. I don't think I'm up for a pizza at this time. But I will get the personal pizza to see if it compares to the miniature. Can we get a um, personal pan pizza with pepperoni? And are those cups for a fountain drink? Can we get two medium? That's it. All right, thanks so much. So I honestly looked for the red cups, the ones that we get in foodie mini brands, but they didn't have them. They did, however, have like regular fountain drink cups. So I got a couple because I honestly never got a fountain drink from Pizza Hut. The Pizza Huts that are around where I live in Chicago are just, you know, you go in, you get your order and you get out. There's no dining in. Also, another interesting thing about this Pizza Hut, they actually serve alcohol, which is pretty cool. Maybe just beer, but let's see. Yeah, it was just beer. Oh, and Cinnabon Mini Rolls. Interesting. That's also a miniature part of uh, Foodie Mini Brand Series, too. And of course, the wings and everything. But yeah, pretty cool. Well, here it is. A Pizza Hut cup. Doesn't look like the red one, but there's another Pizza Hut on the way. I think we might stop there and I might actually get the dinner box and see how that is. Plus that one looks like it also has like a salad bar and stuff. So I think it would be a nice lunch slash, what do you call the meal between lunch and dinner? Cause I know between breakfast and lunch, there's brunch. Anyway. Now regarding the personal pizza, this is the reason I ordered one. You know what I'm curious though? If I order this, will I get exactly the same number of pepperonis that is showed here? Or is many brands using their marketing images that are on the website or something to create these miniatures? That is something I'm curious about. I didn't have a miniature personal pizza with me, so I looked it up to count exactly how many pieces of pepperoni are on it. I was curious to see if the real pizza has the exact same number of slices. And if you're wondering, the number I was looking for is 12. The pizza was finally done, and while I didn't expect it to be perfect, it looked nothing like the miniature, and I was certain there's no way they placed 12 slices of pepperoni on it. So I left the restaurant, and while on the road, I started pulling out those slices of pepperoni that kind of fold in when they cut the pizza, and to my surprise, there were exactly 12 slices of pepperoni on it. I guess I was wrong about them. Sorry for doubting you, Pizza Hut. Oh, and also, I just discovered that I like the Pizza Hut pan pizza more than the regular one. I guess all it took was a trip around Lake Michigan to figure that one out. Once again, it started to rain, so that beautiful sunny day you saw earlier didn't last too long. Fortunately, the rain didn't last long either, but the sun was still hiding behind the clouds. And a few miles later, we stopped in Manistique, Michigan at this local store called Jack's Fresh Market. It was a cool store with a wide variety of stuff you can buy, and then I 
I saw this. A big steaming pile of pasties. And even though I wasn't too much of a fan, I couldn't help but imagine how good the pizza one could be. So of course, I went ahead and grabbed a couple. They also had a lot of good looking food, but I already had my pizza earlier, so I was still good. I gotta say, Jack's Fresh Market is a really, really nice store. Organized, they have a lot of interesting stuff. As you guys probably saw, I got a pizza pet pass, a pizza pass tea. Technically that's how we're supposed to call it. And we just stopped for a quick break, check out some stuff, get some snacks maybe. So yeah, let's explore some more, see what else we can find here. So these chips are exactly like the ones I saw in Canada, which means that I could have actually gotten some from here, but oh well. I still haven't tasted them, but I guess I will at home maybe in a nicer setting where I can, you know, properly review them. I guess I could have done it at the hotel too, but there's only so much you can do in one day, you know? I got some more of these ice Starburst drinks, which are quite good, and they kind of became sort of like a drink of the trip. I don't know if you remember, but these were actually the same drinks that I got on day one. We paid and got back on the road for only a few minutes before stopping to take a quick picture with this Paul Bunyan statue. And then once we started moving, it was time to try that pizza pasty. It was pretty big and plump, but it was mostly empty. However, I know that's not a negative and it just puffed up like that during baking. It was tasty, but unfortunately the filling was too salty. If they used more dough or less salt, it would have been perfect. I got some string cheese to wash off that salty taste, and no, I am not a psycho for biting into a string cheese stick. It's just that I need both hands to do it properly, however, I decided to just pull it with my teeth so that I make some of you happy. I really hope you didn't already leave a comment about me biting into that string cheese. It wasn't long before it started raining again, and this time it was some hardcore rain, but we eventually made it through and got back closer to the lake once again. After all, we are doing the tour of Lake Michigan. We stopped at Big B in Lake Bluff for some drinks. Well, mainly for coffee and also because it was a place we've never tried before. Big B is a regional coffee house chain serving specialty drinks, smoothies and baked goods. We all got something different, which is music to my ears because that means I get to try four different drinks. And those drinks are Sweet Foam Cold Brew Mocha, which is what I got because, you know, chocolate. I also tried the caramel that my mom had, the white lightning which was dad's and the blue res fusion which is what my sister got hers was very interesting it was a combination of red bull lemonade blue raspberry and coconut i was pleasantly surprised it was actually good and i never thought of combining red bull with anything else other than alcohol once we finished our drinks we headed out and our next stop was another pizza hut from where i was determined to finally get the big dinner box this pizza hut joint was looking a lot more modern inside and now i'm fairly certain that the other one looked a lot closer to how they used to back in the day. Well, I was going to show you guys the menu, but um, it was on the table and then she came right away for us to order. And I already knew what I want. It's the big dinner box. The one that's actually a mini brand from Foodie Series 2. And I cannot find that around me. I would have to go quite a bit of distance to find it. So since this was on the way, you know, on our tour along the lake and it's also a dine-in, which are very rare around me, I thought I would stop and get it and see how real it looks. So the water arrived and it arrived in one of those clear cups. But honestly, if they had the red cups, I would have asked if I can buy one, like just buy one from them, you know? I know you can't buy them, but I would have told the lady like, hey, can I pay you for it? and you just close your eyes and pretend that, you know, a cup just went missing. I also asked if I can get the big dinner box and the actual dinner box. The big dinner box arrived and the lady gave us a weird look and a chuckle, probably because it was a lot of food for two people. Well, it does look exactly like the miniature, except the wings are nicely placed in a bowl rather than just, you know, on a piece of aluminum foil, which is great but everything else looks exactly the same. So we started eating and once again, these are pan pizzas and I don't know why I didn't try them before because they are a lot better than the regular ones. For me, it feels like there's a time and place for regular pizza or thin crust, but personally, I now prefer the thicker crust pizza, which is what you get when you order a pan pizza. I feel like the dough is fluffier, but then the bottom part is also nice and crispy. And it's safe to say that from now on, my default pizza order will be pan pizza. Breadsticks are something I 
never order, but I do eat them if they're available. These ones were nice and warm, buttery, and paired with that marinara sauce, they just hit the spot. The pepperoni pizza was also delicious, but I did just have one earlier in the day. The chicken was also good. It was hot, moist, and tender, and I don't know, either this Pizza Hut location does everything right and by the book, or maybe I was a little hungry, but I had a great experience and all the food was delicious. It was a whole lot better than I remember Pizza Hut to be. I must admit, it did feel a little bit weird walking outside with this huge pizza box trying to find my dad's car. It was just my sister and I that went to the pizza place, and that's because they found some stores around there and they wanted to check them out. We were getting closer to Wisconsin and to the hotel where we'd stay overnight. Once we got there, we just dropped our bags and went back out exploring the city of Marinette. We stopped at the Red Arrow Park for a peaceful and beautiful view of the lake. The water was really calm and the entire scene looked like something that's out of a postcard. After all the salty and fatty food that I had today, it was time to get something sweet. So we drove to the local Walmart and I had something specific in mind that I was craving and wanted to try and that my friends is a slice of cake from the cake boss himself, Buddy Velastro. I saw these in Vegas at vending machines and I never got one and now it was the perfect time to satisfy that craving. more disappointment there's absolutely nothing new but maybe i just got the wrong store if i go to target maybe i'm gonna be more lucky but hey at least i have cake this should make it all better So this is the first time ever that I'm trying a slice of cake from the Cake Boss. I started with the red velvet and it was rich and delicious. I cannot say that I had a lot of red velvet cakes, but out of all of them, this was my favorite. However, little did I know that the next one was going to blow my mind. This is the Everybody's Cake Slice. It's three desserts in one slice and I love all three of them, so you can only imagine how good this was. The three desserts in this one slice are cheesecake, brown brownie, and pecan pie. I guess there's absolutely no point of me trying to describe how good it was and how much I liked it. You can probably tell that by my face expressions. If, in general, you are not the type of person that complains about desserts being too sweet, and if you enjoy rich and decadent desserts, then this is for you. Give that a try, or if you already tried it, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? All right, my friends, that was day six of the road trip around Lake Michigan. The next video, day seven, will probably be out in a couple of weeks, and that episode will be the final one in the series of the road trip around Lake Michigan and also celebrating the 1 million subscribers milestone. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I cannot think of a better time to open all these packages than in the grand finale of this series of celebration. As usual, until next time, you guys stay golden and keep on shining. Bye bye.